First and foremost, children in the public foster care system need us to care. They need someone to care about them. There are 11,000 children in the public foster care system in Massachusetts alone, nearly 600,000 in the country. One third of the children in the public foster care system in Massachusetts are not reunified with their families and are not adopted. In the fall of 1998, I came home from work and my husband handed me a newspaper article about a little five-month-old baby boy who was in foster care and had been kidnapped from his crib. That horrified me. I couldn't believe that a five-month-old baby could disappear in the middle of the day. And I remember looking across the table at my husband and saying, wait a minute, we are responsible for children when they're removed from their homes. I thought to myself, I have to help people turn around and embrace children. I have to create a menu of very compelling programs and opportunities so that people say, wow, what a fabulous program. You mean I don't have to be just a foster parent or an adoptive parent in order to help a child in care? I think what really struck me was the disconnect, the disconnect between the general public, you, me, everyone, and children in care. It was like they were invisible. They become members of a stigmatized club. They have no intention of becoming members of this club. They have no desire to be members of this club, but there they are, foster kids. And once people give them that label, many others just turn around and walk away. I started Treehouse in 2002 because I wanted every child in the public foster care system to be treated with respect and dignity. Treehouse at East Hampton Meadow is a multi-generational community where families who are adopting children from the public foster care system live in a brand new beautiful community called Treehouse and wonderful elders who would like to support families will come and be honorary grandparents to the children. In conversations that I've had with elders, they have taught me that they want to be connected. They want to feel like their lives and their life expertise and wisdom is valued. And they want to give back. And so coming to live at Treehouse at East Hampton Meadow is a real plus for them in their lives. What I want Treehouse to do is to help people turn around and embrace children in foster care, to let them know that their lives are worth something and that we are here as the adults in your communities, um, in your families, in your schools, in your lives to fully support you and weave that safety net under you so that you can experience a childhood that is full of joy and connection and hope and then you can go out into the world and be a fully engaged human being. When I have a quiet moment and I think about children in the public foster care system, I find myself thinking, what else can I do to support children and how can I get more people involved? Getting the country to turn around and embrace children, that's the real challenge and I am pouring my heart and soul into making that happen. And I believe we can succeed. I believe Treehouse can make that happen. I do believe that. <laughs>